no music today. Straight to the face. Going to give you guys some instruction on some plot metrics that we do uh, for power and speed athletes. Sometimes I feel like the most hated on, the most underrated. But no matter what they throw my way, my way, I still ride. You know it's ID, right? All I do is try. I've been high. So that mean this morning, uh, look, our company is building the biggest network of true health and fitness professionals um, in the Pittsburgh area right now. And so we are meeting with a ton of people from a lot of different backgrounds. And there's people that are trying to get involved in Emily Fitness and be able to help out in any capacity possible. We're building something. We're not just some company out here selling stupid supplements or selling, you know, the same old recycled workout programs. Um, we're really building a monument from scratch and that's not a bragging thing for me or to me to say that I'm gonna build this biggest thing ever it's just the idea and the concepts that we're working on they're, they're real I mean I don't know how else to convey it to people uh, but every time we take these meetings um, they're just again you never know what's gonna come from them you never know and we approach each business relationship the same way that we do with our training it's tailor-made and if somebody has a certain skill set and we're able to use that and to help grow and spread our message like we're going to try to make it happen and so it's um, i'm just thankful to be in the position that we are and have people be able to respond the way that they're responding and trying to trying to get in with us you know and just help us out and also create a career for them create jobs for them it's not you know it's not like they're giving charity right it's uh it's a working relationship but you know we have to be super picky of who we decide to work with and so uh, again i'm just i'm just blessed and thankful for just have an opportunity to where I am to be a business owner in this country and just be able to make a difference in people's lives. Super appreciative of it. Now, first thing you're gonna notice here is Brandon is jumping as high as he can, no matter how big that box is or how small that box is. That box is completely irrelevant. He is max jumping. Uh, we're doing sets of five right now. Take note. Watch how he loads up. Right, springs up like a coil, arms back, squat position. He's able to transfer that power from that position all the way up into his jump. Um, and then if you watch the landing. Go ahead, Brian, one more time for me. Watch the landing, how he lands. He lands, recoil it again. I mean, that's just not taught properly. People are trying too busy trying to jump on four of these boxes. All right, so now we got Brennan doing depth jumps. Take a peek at that, right? Walking off a plank, landing in that loaded position, soft feet, soft knees, soft ankles. What we're doing here is we're transferring again that power. We're gonna coil it up, loading it up. From that position, that is an athletic stance. He can vertical jump, he can broad jump, he's explosive out of that. We teach him how to land, how to land properly, and that's what you need for athletics. That's what's going to transfer. You know, th think about all the moves you have in a game. If you're a uh, center or something, and you're in basketball rebounding, you there's times you get to jump more than once. And if you ain't landing properly, if you're not in an athletic position at times, you, you you're going to have a slow time transferring. Look at that right there. It's a great job. And I want y'all to notice. Look at his effort. One more. Good. So we're doing uh, power slams here with that ball. Um, and again, it's, it's, you see how many we're doing? We're only doing six at a time. You do more than that, you start doing 10, 15, you're conditioning, you're not training for power and strength. So people will get that way too twisted all the time. Now this next exercise is gonna be a great demonstration of what we were talking about earlier. Again, a combination of loading and transferring the explosion. Look at that. No. Are we getting a theme yet, peeps? Are we getting a theme yet? Are we getting a theme yet? Do we have a theme yet? Are you guys able to understand this transfer of power I'm talking about? And how the principles that, that we're putting in um, from the that load phase, the land phase, how specific I, I make it. Brent, how long do I make you practice that load and land and all that? Depth jump and box jumps? A lot. Right. 
it's a foundation, man. You, but you're watching it here, all the things now. We're com combining exercises, and all it's doing, transferring from the legs up to the, to the torso, through the core, out. Like, it's, it's the name of the game. It's what he does in sports. He plays football. It's 10-second bursts of vests. That's the end, of the end of story. Quit doing cone stuff. Let me get this different angle, because I feel like you guys are not understanding how far he's jumping here. The explosion is needed. Look at this thing. Kid jumps 9-9, nine, nine, right, Brent? 9-9? Nine, nine. Yep. 9 feet? 9 feet, is that what that means? 9 feet? Yep. 9 feet he jumps. It's not, that is not plaything. Alright, so I did a uh, little combine training uh, this past week. Uh, the numbers are really good, 10 to 20 range is what we've been training. Uh, power, explosiveness, and uh, those numbers really, you know, increase from what I did compared to last year and years before, and I just feel more powerful and explosive I ever have as an athlete. Right, and then for football, it's obviously what you're looking for, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then, 10 to 20 uh, range is where, you know, my sport is played. Yeah, and, and you're talking 10 to 20 yard like dashes, right? Yeah. Yeah, see that?